हेलो एवरी वन सो हाउ आर यू ऑल सो आई थिंक यू प्रोबेबली हर्ड ऑफ दी टर्म्स एफ डी आई एंड एफ आई आई बिफोर एंड एवरी टाइम यू हेयर दीज टर्म्स दीज टर्म्स ब्रिंग्स यू सम शॉर्ट ऑफ कन्फ्यूजन इन यूर माइंड डेट वट आर दीज टर्म्स सो आवर बेसिकली कंसर्न टॉपिक इज एफ डी आई एंड एफ आई आई ओके एंड आई विल मेक यू क्लियर बाय टेकिंग सिंपल एग्जाम्पल्स वी आर नॉट गोइंग डीप to FDI and FII okay so myself naman jangir welcomes you to the channel deep talks let's get start okay so let's say this is the particular company of america xyz limited okay this company belongs to america i mean this company manufacture its product in america and sell its product in america so it belongs to america but now this company wants to promote its business or promote its product so what are the ways left with this company one way is it can invest in some other countries so that it can promote its business okay so let's say that this company wants to invest in some other country and let's say the country is india this particular xyz limited want to invest in india it can invest in india by two ways one is fdi and second one is fii okay so i am writing here first one is fdi and second one is fii okay so first of all we have to understand that what FDI stands for FDI stands for foreign direct investment and FII stands for foreign institutional investment okay i'm writing here foreign direct investment and foreign institutional as investment okay or we can say foreign indirect investment fii okay so these are the two method by which this particular company of america can invest in india or any other country of the world okay so fdi come to the fdi now okay so let's say this is xyz limited this is the company of america now when it comes to the india then it will become xyz india limited because this company this means xyz india limited means this company partly be managed by the xyz and partly be managed by the indian company okay why xyz india limited because this fdi are further categorized into two parts uh, we can say two investment one is green field investment and other one is brown field investment so i am explaining that okay so first one is green field investment and second one is brownfield investment so basically what are the greenfield investment and brownfield investment come to the greenfield investment first when a parent company begins a new venture okay when a parent company begins new venture and by constructing its new facilities okay this comes to the greenfield investment okay and when a company purchases the existing facility to begin new production that is brownfield investment okay let me the uh, let me take the example of both okay if we talk about the greenfield investment let me take the real examples there is a company of china that name bbk electronics i think some of you heard this name bbk electronics actually this is the parent company of three companies okay which are running in india one is oppo 
ओके वन इज ओप्पो देन इज वन प्लस सेकेंड कंपनी इज वन प्लस एंड थर्ड कंपनी इज वीवो ओके लेट्स कम टू दी डेफिनेशन अगेन ओके वट आई सेट वेन ए पेरेंट कंपनी बिगिन्स न्यू वेंचर बाय कंस्ट्रक्टिंग न्यू फैसिलिटीज इन ए कंट्री ओके दिस मीन्स द पेरेंट कंपनी इज बी बी के इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स ओके एंड पेरेंट कंपनी ऑफ दीज थ्री कंपनीज ओप्पो वन प्लस एंड वीवो एंड दीज थ्री कंपनीज आर रनिंग इन इंडिया बिकॉज बट दिस दीज थ्री कंपनीज आर पार्टली मैनेज बाय द बी बी के इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स सो दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द ग्रीन फील्ड इन्वेस्टमेंट and now if we come to the brownfield investment what is brownfield investment when a company purchases the existing firm okay in order to begin new production so it's simple when a when one company purchases the other companies okay so uh, if we take the example uh, recently few year back My, uh, Microsoft purchases Nokia, so this is the perfect example of brownfield investment. Okay, so this is the example of brownfield investment. Okay, now I think you have understood that why X Y Z Limited became X Y Z India Limited because this particular company has opened its subsidiary. Okay. which is partly managed by this company and partly managed by the indian company okay let me take you one more example few year back there was a company hero honda and we know very well that hero company is different from honda but they were of uh, they were joint ventured okay they were working together in order to promote its business so this was the example of greenfield investment okay so i think that you are very clear with fdi fdi is foreign direct investment when one company directly investing in other country okay and this uh, fdi further categorized into greenfield investment and brownfield investment so this is very clear this is very simple you can uh, you can call it that when one company is in is investing in other countries by setting up its industries or by uh, by purchasing its lands and being in some new business there that comes under the foreign direct investment okay now comes to the fii what is fii fii means foreign institutional investment or we can say foreign indirect investment so this was the example of fdi but if we talk about fii now in f fii uh, we bring some money to invest in the equity market of that company okay like uh, equity market means share market when we invest some money in the share market of that particular company uh, sorry country and when we sell or purchases the share of the company of that country then this come under the fii foreign institutional investment so it it is clear to you that like fdi we are not investing uh, physically we say we have uh, we don't have to purchase land we don't have to build industries okay in fii we simply brings money from other country and we say invest them into the share market of the Uh, country and we sell or purchase share of the company okay so this is fii foreign institutional investment or uh, there is a second thing we can say that fdi is the long term investment why i am calling this the long term investment because you know very well that we have to purchase land we have to build industry we have to hire some employees to start some business so this is type of long term investment but fii is the short term investment because any time we can we can withdraw our money from the share market okay there is no uh, liability we can say because we 
always bring some money and we invest in the share market okay and we can withdraw them as we want okay mm -hmm. so this is the fii and we can call this short term investment okay now let's talk about some pros and cons of fdi not fii because fii you know very well fii is the foreign institutional investment or foreign indirect investment and in this we simply bring some money and invest in the share market of that country okay so this is not impacting directly to the country but fdi is impacting directly to the country because they are going to set up their industry they are going to hire some employees okay so they are going to, uh, they are impacting directly the country okay so let's discuss some pros and cons and i can say advantages and disadvantages of fdi here we will write advantages and here we will write disadvantages okay so if we see the first advantage then first advantage is the increment in the employment okay how fdi will increase the employment of the country this is obvious when some of the mnc are coming to the india then they will bring money they will set up their industry so they will hire some employee also to work in their company so this will increase the employment so first thing is increasing employment first thing is they are increasing employment okay second advantage is income in the tax revenue how as they are coming they will build its uh, industries they will hire some employees they will get income to their employees so their employees will pay tax also they are manufacturing their product so they have to pay tax on that manufactured product so this will increase the tax revenue of the country so this is the second advantage income of tax revenue and the third point we can see is development of the human capital okay development of human capital let's see how as they will the employee will work in the mnc so they will gather some knowledge okay and by gathering some knowledge they are incrementing the human capital now come to the fourth point that the increment in the national income increment in the national income national income i think i don't have to explain this because national income when the national income will rise when uh, the more and more citizen of the country will get employed okay and then they will be paid off and this will increase the national income automatically so this was the fourth advantage of fdi okay now come to the disadvantage of fdi so very first disadvantage is destruction of the small entrepreneur of small entrepreneur why because these small entrepreneur cannot be able to withstand the tough competition of mnc let's say this entrepreneur is having a juice shop okay so this small entrepreneur cannot able to withstand the tough competition of the cold drink company okay so this will lead to the destruction of this small entrepreneur now come to the second disadvantage second disadvantage is inflation in the economy inflation in economy 
as the mnc companies spend more in advertisement and in consumer promotion this will automatically rise the product price okay and which will hike the price of product and this will bring inflation in the market or we can say in economy so second disadvantage is inflation in economy okay now third disadvantage is exchange crisis third is exchange crisis okay as we know with the coming of the mnc this will drop the export of the domestic country okay and with the drop of the export the value of the domestic currency of the country became down okay so this will bring the exchange crisis okay so this was all about fdi and fii okay now i am telling you again in short what is fdi and fii fdi stands for foreign direct investment and fii stands for foreign institutional investment or we can say indirect investment okay in this we can directly invest in the other country by setting up the industry by hiring some employees and begin the manufacturing there okay so this is is fdi foreign direct investment now what is in fii foreign indirect investment in this we simply brings the money and invest in the share market of or equity market of the country or we can sell or purchase share of the company there okay so this is fii so this was all about fdi and fii so i think this is very clear to you and i hope you like the video and if you like the video please do not forget to subscribe our channel thank you jai hind